hi there students okay this video is hi there students this video is to give you some vivid verbs and vivid nouns about smells okay so let's see the first one if something smells really bad you say it stinks stink stunk stunk okay to smell really bad um if you go into the restaurant of that kitchen it really stinks okay don't go into the bathroom because it stinks in there okay so to stink is an extremely bad smell stink is probably neutral or a little bit informal so a great word for everyday conversation a notice as well you can have a stink there was a stink of rotten fish the next word or the next verb is to reek okay so it really reeks of rotten fish to reek again is a synonym for to stink it smells really bad the kitchen reeks of boiled cabbage there's a reek of boiled cabbage all through the house um a reek and to reek again is neutral maybe slightly informal the next word is to pong a pong okay a pong is more like a kid's word a pong a bad smell i don't think it to pong is as bad or is as serious as to stink or to reek but it really pongs in the bathroom yeah so it's a more polite word yeah it's the sort of phrase a kid would use there was a terrible pong from uh, the sewers okay the rubbish dump really pongs it really pongs in here there's a pong of bad fish okay and the next one to stench a stench okay i think stench is the highest of all of them it's a really 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 bad smell um i think this word is is neutral maybe even slightly formal um i remember when i was studying chemistry i remember there was a bottle with some sort of uh, disulfide in it and on the bottle it said stench be careful when you open and it smelled really really bad okay there is a stench coming from that house i think there's a dead body in it okay but notice stench is neutral or even slightly formal um it's stenched i think it's more common to use stench as a noun yeah i think you can just about use it as a verb okay and let's get to another one a whiff of so we can say in british english verily informally it whiffs in the toilet yeah it really whiffs in here that's a very informal way of saying it smells bad but a whiff more normally is a short smell i caught a whiff of perfume and then it went yeah there was a whiff of smoke i smelt a whiff of smoke okay so you can smell a whiff it's just a very short quick little smell of something and if you want to know how something smells you sniff it yeah okay he sniffed the bottle he sniffed the bottle of wine and said it had uh, a wonderful bouquet okay the bouquet a bouquet 
apart from being a bunch of flowers, is the characteristic scent or smell of a bottle of wine or a perfume. Okay, so a bouquet, the smell of wine, the smell of a specific wine. A bouquet is very positive. Then we could have an aroma, an aroma of food, an aroma of spices. Notice the word an aromatic smell. So notice an aroma is very positive. I thought it was interesting. There are lots of verbs for to smell bad, but I couldn't really think of a verb to mean to smell good. There was an, a wonderful aroma of cooking coming from the kitchen. Then we could have a scent. A scent is a smell. Let's see, you could uh, buy a bottle of scent or a bottle of perfume for your girlfriend, yeah? And that would be a scent. But a scent of, a smell of. Maybe they use dogs to get the scent of an escaped criminal. You've seen in the films, they give the dogs his coat and then say, go find him. Okay, and the dogs sniff to get the scent. Okay, so a scent is just a smell of. Yeah, we could even say the scent of cooking food came from the kitchen. A scent can either be positive or negative. There was a scent of boiled cabbage coming from the uh, school kitchen. And then a perfume. We can actually also use the verb to perfume. There's a positive one. Okay, a perfume is like a scent. You could buy a perfume for a lady. Okay, this is a very expensive bottle of Scaparelli perfume. Okay, a perfume. Uh, the wonderful food perfumed the room, sent a nice smell all through the room to perfume yeah or maybe he perfumed the room to get rid of the stench or maybe he just put one smell over another so here you have lots of vivid verbs and nouns to use instead of just smell so to stink to reek to stench to pong very bad smell. A whiff, either a quick smell or it whiffs in here, it smells bad in here. Remember, stink and reek are neutral, slightly informal. Stench is neutral, slightly formal. And a whiff is very informal. Then if you want to know how something you, smells, you <laughs> sniff it. The dog sniffed me. Then you can have an aroma, which is a positive smell. A scent, which is normally positive, but can also be negative. It depends what you put it with. A perfume and to perfume, these are both positive. Ah, I was going to say, aroma is neutral, maybe slightly formal. To a scent is neutral. A perfume is neutral. To perfume as a verb, maybe neutral or slightly formal. And then remember, a wine or a perfume has a bouquet, a characteristic scent or smell. And bouquet, yeah, that's a slightly formal word. If you use it in the pub, you'll sound very posh, okay? So there you go, a load of vivid verbs and nouns about smell one of your five senses. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.